Today we're diving into something crucial for your success as a Roblox developer. The biggest mistakes I've seen Roblox developers make that are holding you back from getting thousands of players, earning Robux and building the game of your dreams. If your game isn't getting plays, or worse, it's just sat there collecting dust, chances are you're making one of these mistakes. But don't worry, I'm also going to show you exactly how to fix them, so stick around. Mistake number one. Your game has a terrible first impression. Think about it. When a player searches for a new game on Roblox or gets shown it by the algorithm, what's the first thing that they see? It's your thumbnail and title. If your thumbnail looks like it was made in 5 seconds with no effort or thought, or your title is something boring like my game, no one is going to click on it. I've seen games with amazing mechanics fail because their thumbnail was just a blurry screenshot or something that was thrown together in Photoshop in 5 minutes. Here's the fix. Make your thumbnail pop. Use bright colours, add some Roblox characters, ideally get a render, and include text that grabs attention, but not too much text. For your title, make it specific and exciting, and try to explain your game as simply as possible. We're talking with the minimal amount of words and elements in your thumbnail. Games like Hide or Die do this brilliantly. You hear the game's name and you immediately know what it's about, even if you've never played it before. Now imagine hearing the name Prop Hunt and you've never heard that before. It doesn't really tell you much about the game, but Hide or Die, boom, you immediately know what the game is about. First impressions matter, so don't skip this step. If people aren't going to play your game because it's not attractive enough, then what's the point in spending time on everything else? Mistake number two. You're not marketing your game. I hear this all the time. I spent weeks and months building my game, but no one's playing it. Or I spent 100,000 Robux on ads and it's done nothing. Well, that's because you can't just publish a game on Roblox, throw money at it and expect people to magically show up. Roblox has millions of games. Yours is a needle in a haystack unless you promote it adequately enough. Here's how you fix it. The first thing you need is a community. Make a Discord server or Roblox group at the very least for your game and invite your friends to join. This is where having people who you know in the Roblox community is so important, whether it's other developers, friends or content creators. You need people who you can test your game with and just get into servers to get them active. You want to share updates and sneak peeks way before you release the game and get people excited. I hear all the time from people who don't want to share their game because they're too worried that somebody's going to copy it. And whilst that's true, I think there comes a point during the development where you're so far into working on it that it's time to start sharing people. Otherwise, you'll finish the game and just release it one day and realize that you've completely neglected your marketing stage. If you can get a small YouTuber or streamer to play your game, this is even better because their audience might check it out as well. You can also look into commissioning a TikTok or YouTube shorts creator to create a small advertisement video where they could potentially name drop your game or even put the link to their game in their bio. This can be great for virality if you can get a handful of players into the game at a cheap cost by using a TikToker or YouTube shorts creator then this can be great as it will give your game the initial springboard it needs to get into the Roblox algorithm and it can also come at a much cheaper cheaper cost than the Roblox ad system. However, don't sleep on Roblox ads. If you've got a few Robux to spare, then sure, run a simple ad to get your game in front of more players, but I wouldn't recommend dropping a huge amount of Robux on it. One of my main philosophies in Roblox development is that a fun game should just be able to naturally take off. It shouldn't require thousands and thousands of Robux, because if the game is that good, then even with a few servers open from your friends, it should just be good enough to snowball. It should be engaging to keep people and bring them back. Now, marketing your game doesn't have to be hard, but you have to do it if you want players to find your game. At the end of the day, it's just about getting that initial boost to get your game into the Roblox algorithm. And if the game's good enough, it should eventually get there. Mistake number three, you're ignoring player feedback. Look, I get it. Sometimes feedback can feel harsh, especially if it's coming from people who don't even know what you've gone through. Maybe a player says your game is boring or broken. But here's the thing. 
Your players are the best sources of ideas to make your game better, and if you ignore them, they'll stop playing and your game will die. And yes, some players can be harsh and a little bit too blunt, but it's about taking enough feedback on board and filtering out the noise. The fix? Just listen to your players. Add a feedback board in your game where players can leave suggestions or read the comments on your game page or Discord server. If multiple people are saying the same thing, like we need more levels, this is too difficult, or I'm bored, take it seriously. Update your game regularly based on feedback and let your players know that you're listening. Get people involved from the very beginning and get feedback quickly. If something's not right, you can fix it before you invest too much effort into it that it becomes a sunk cost. They'll feel valued and they'll keep coming back to your game. Players want to be heard, so show them that you care. Mistake number four, you're overcomplicating your game. Now I see this a lot with new developers. They try to add every cool idea they have into their first game. A battle system, clan system, leveling system, pet system, story mode, everything. But here's the problem. If your game is too complicated, new players will get confused and leave. It's easy as the developer to know how your game works, the ins and outs, but you've got to remember that your game is going to be played by people who have never seen it before and who have a very short attention span and a short period of time for them to get to grips with it. So start small, focus on one core idea and avoid feature creep. If you're making an obby, okay, make it fun and challenging, maybe add a few twists to make it unique, but don't add a million extra mechanics. Look at the most popular games on Roblox. They started off with a simple concept and they added more things over time, especially when the player feedback has come in. Build a solid foundation first, focus on what already works on the Roblox platform, and then add new features as updates to keep your players coming back. The worst thing is when you work on loads of features which you then realize were pointless. Keep it simple and your players will thank you. In my opinion, it's better to create 10 games in a year if you can, rather than working on just one game for an entire year, especially if it's risky and unproven. Mistake number five giving up too soon. Now, this one is controversial. You might not get a thousand players on day one or even in your first month, but if you give up after a week because no one's playing, you'll never know what your game could have become. However, this doesn't mean that you should keep on going even if you're sure that you're not making any progress. There is a time where you should quit and there have been games that I've worked on in the past where I definitely should have quit earlier. You've just got to stay consistent and as long as you're still enjoying working on a game and it hasn't been dragging on for months and months and it doesn't feel like it's just stuck, then sure, keep updating your game, keep promoting it and keep learning. Some of the biggest games on Roblox started small but grew because the devs didn't give up. So set small goals, like perhaps getting 10 players, then 50, then 100, make sure you celebrate every single win and don't stop pushing forwards. If you do these things, I promise you'll see more players, more Robux and more success. So what are you going to fix first? Let me know in the comments below.